the major way that you are going to demonstrate your learning of, of our, our learning outcomes in this course is with the preparation and presentation of a digital portfolio. It's basically a website that has evidence of everything that you have learned in the class. Now that may seem a little overwhelming when it's described that way because it's a great big thing with a lot of stuff in it, but uh, if you start building it early and maintain it regularly, you're going to find that you have accumulated a lot of, of what we call evidence of your learning throughout the semester. And this is going to be one of the main components, one of the main ways that we use to determine your grade in the course. So uh, this, what kind of things could be on a digital portfolio? That's a good question. Alice, you have some ideas? Absolutely. Well, you're going to be cultivating this every day that you're in class and adding to it. So you're going to be creating pages for your different major assignments, but then also just your notes and things that you do in class just to show your participation in the things that you do because that's going to be evidence towards your uh, quest objectives. The other so, thing that example, might, sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Alice, but the other thing that, that your digital portfolio is really uh, excellent for is when you go to find a job, this is something that you can show a prospective employer. Go in and, and show this to the principal that you're interviewing with and say, this is the, the digital portfolio that I have been building throughout my uh, learning experiences here at Fresno State and it has evidence of some of the different kinds of things that I do, like different lessons that I prepared, different technology skills and abilities that I've accumulated. So it can be a real powerful uh, statement of what you've learned. I totally agree with that, and I have had students do that because you're really going to learn a lot in this class, and it's really going to be something you're going to be able to show off. So really looking at how to organize all of your content and make it worthy of showing off. Um, your lesson plans that you're going to do in this class, you're going to embed in the page. Uh, everything you do is going to be in the context of wanting to be a teacher, right? What are you going to do in the classroom? So everything should be a sample of how it's going to be used and how you plan on teaching with it and things that you can demonstrate to your future employer. Hey, I know how to do this. You should hire me. One more important point that I want to mention that's, that's a critical component of your portfolio and that is reflection. Really, uh, everything that goes in your in your portfolio should contain a meaningful reflection that goes that accompanies it. And this reflection is not a description of what you put in there, but it's more a reason why it's in there. So it should have a, a, a brief statement about what this piece of evidence is. This is a lesson plan that I wrote, and here's why it's important. Here's what I learned while preparing this lesson plan. And here's how that's a part of how I think about teaching and learning. So that reflection is really the, the key component that, that makes your portfolio much more than just a box of stuff. It makes it a, a living document. 